Hi everyone and welcome to the Aircraft Certification Channel. I'm Clarissa Fedo and together with Rafaela Caio, we created this space to share information about aircraft development certification. So if you are an aircraft lover as us, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be aware every time that we upload a new video. When we talk about safety, we usually hear terms like catastrophic effects, hazardous failure conditions, extremely improbable, remote, but what do those terms really mean? In today's video, I will explain that and its relation with safety and acceptable risk. Welcome on board and enjoy your journey. There are several requirements that refer to terms like uh, catastrophic effects, hazardous failure conditions, major, minor, or even no safety effect. But what do they mean in the aircraft certification context? In fact, they are related to the effects of a failure condition when we are measuring the risk of its occurrence. Those effects can be associated with the aircraft, the crew, or the passengers. And the good news is that those concepts are fairly harmonized among the certification authorities. So let's start with the least critical one, that is the no safety effect. The name is quite obvious, right? It's a failure condition that doesn't affect any operational capability of the airplane. A good example of that is if we have an oven failure. So there's no effect in the aircraft safety, there's no effect in the passengers and the crew, except inconvenience. So maybe we can have a flight, a flight attendant very stressed to deal with an unpleasant passenger. The next one is what we classify as minor. In this case, we have a slight reduction in safety margins, which means that there's slight increase in the flight crew workload, such as changing flight plans or everything is already predicted and the, the crew are trained for that. And also, if perceived by the passengers, can cause some discomfort, nothing other than that. Following that, we have the major classification, which means that a significant reduction in safety margins that can reduce the capability of the airplane or the flight crew to cope with the failure condition. More severe than that, we have the hazardous classification. For the hazardous classification, we have a large reduction in the safety margins, which means that the increase in workload is so high that the pilot may not be relied on accomplishing the required tasks accurately and timely. Some serious injuries and even fatalities of the passengers are expected. And at the end, the most critical one that are the classification of failure condition as catastrophic. In those cases, multiple fatalities are expected and a potential full loss of the airplane. So when we talk about risk, we are talking about severity and likelihood of occurrence. We're just talking about severity. So let's talk now about the likelihood or probability of occurrence. First, we have the probable failure condition. That are those ones that are expected to occur in each airplane along the operational life. After that, we have the remote failure condition. The remote failure condition are not anticipated to occur in each airplane, but may happen several times in some airplanes of a fleet. The extremely remote failure condition are those ones that are not anticipated to occur either, but can happen few times when we measure the whole fleet operational life. And the extremely improbable ones are those ones that are unlikely to occur in the whole fleet of the same type. We're talking about severity and probability, but how we can associate both things to reach the acceptable risk level? 
It's simple. The most severe failure condition is the lower likelihood its occurrence must be. Which means that catastrophic failure conditions must be extremely improbable. The hazardous failure conditions must be at least extremely remote and the major failure conditions must be at least remote. And it is acceptable for the minor failure conditions to be probable. Each one of those qualitative likelihood of occurrence has a probability number associated with it depending on, on the category of the airplane. I hope you enjoy your journey and see you in the next video.